Okay, this is a latency test slash demo for the Sonus G2M <clears throat> guitar to MIDI converter. What I've got going on here is I've left my uh, guitar controls the way that I usually set them up. Volume and tone are all the way up on everything and I'm using a combination of the neck and the middle pickup. Um, so that signal is going out to um, a couple of things that are all off right now, um, but the frequency analyzer that I have has a, a two outputs on it. So I'm splitting that into two unique channels into a mixer. Um, one of those channels I've rolled off all the highs and all the mids um, and have set that to uh, a really low volume but a high level of the effects send. So I'm trying to send um, a good signal to from that channel to the Sonus, which is going into a Yamaha tone generator, um, and then that's going back into the aux return of the mixer. Um, the other channel of the mixer um, is just a dry signal. I've done no EQing, um, and I've not sent any of that information to the effects loop. So I have one channel basically as wet as I can get it in the effects loop um, running through the uh, MIDI converter and the other one totally dry. So the result is, is that you'll hear, this is just the dry signal. Um, so when I turn the mixer into the loop, then you'll hear that signal mixed with the MIDI converter signal. So you'll hear the attack of the guitar, and then you'll be able to judge the latency um, by hearing the attack of the guitar versus the attack of the uh, MIDI converter signal. So um, you, there's a little bit of a delay. I've selected um, general MIDI patch number 81, which is a square lead, um, which has a pretty solid attack on it. So it doesn't like have a fade in sound like any of the woodwinds or something. So here's what that sounds like. <laughs> tracking is actually really good when I've turned the highs and the mids all the way down even though everything on my guitar is set up so that my dry signal, my clean signal, is actually usable guitar sound. Um, so now if I turn that, that loop back on and then I can add some you know, delay after that or something. sound like that if you make the you could get some delay or reverb or, or some sort of modulable mm, sorry modulation after the uh, MIDI signal then that'll mask the latency issues a little bit but uh, it's pretty good actually I, I was pretty surprised at how quick the tracking actually is um, the official line is 16 to 30 milliseconds latency depending on the signal so by giving it a totally rolled off uh, low pass signal that way it really helps <laughs> Good uh, translation of the latency with two signals mixed together here. <laughs> 